Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy. Um, I picked up an H1 from Flywing, H1 Heli. It's kind of like a NASA H or a Wukong or whatever. Uh, I did notice though when I got it, everything's written in Chinese. So I'm going to have to figure that out uh, with the manual. Uh, it seems like a nice aluminum receiver. It's got the GPS puck. I got everything included. Uh, but the first thing I need to do and uh, I, I'm going to do this to see if I'm doing anything wrong as well, but um, I have the the uh, Futaba T8FG Super. It has 14 channels. It also has S-Bus uh, when it's in Multi-2. Um, it's got plenty of switches and everything for what we need it for, uh, for a helicopter. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go through this. Um, I've been flying drones for about the past uh, seven years now. Uh, my helicopters have been on and off the shelf for a while so you gotta bear with me with my transmitters. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to make a new model. Okay, um, let's go to model select and we'll go to new um, they tell us in the manual to go airplane mode and it does state you know normal single tail normal and um, let's go to yes so I know it's for a heli but it's telling you to set it up this way. Um, so back to the link. Oh. Okay, frequency. Um, that's one of the things so we can get multiple channels. Is it has to be normally it's on channel seven, but we're gonna go to multi two, which it was already set on. Oh. Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing the buttons here. Alright, sorry. Um, I got a camera right in front of my face so I really can't see everything. So technically speaking, if I do go to link and I go to servo right now, it's only going to show the 8. See, and if I scroll over, you'll see the other channels, 9 and 12. All right, so that's that's good. Oop. All right, so model, t we did uh, the select, but we're going to go back to select, and we're going to click on new, and we want to rename it. All right, so first off, I need to delete. It, by default, it puts new model. Um, what I'm going to put in here is H1. Sorry, this takes a while to go scrolling through. I went the wrong way. It's probably an easier way, but I'm going to call it the H1. Um, oop, dag damn it. Um, sorry about that. I lost the rename. One thing about Futaba I hated was this. Like I said, I'm behind the camera. So, I'm going to call this H. Let's go all the way to 1. My fingers must be slippery. So H1. And I think I'm going to run this on my Devil 380. It's like a Goblin 380, but it's the clone. Um, so we'll go D, E, So 
Sorry for the boring video, but it's just to see if I'm doing everything right and maybe it'll help somebody else out. So H1 Dev, I'm going to put it in a 380, try it in that first before I go put it in a 500 or 700. Okay. So 380, back up to enter, okay, so it should be entered now, okay, so it has the correct name, alright, so I got the correct name, multi, Okay, all right, so give me a second here. It says you need at least a five channel radio with a three segment switch to be used to control the switch. So that's five, six, seven, eight. You need a minimum of eight channels. Um, so I don't have the receiver yet. I got one on order. Uh, it needs to be an S bus, but we can set up most of the stuff. So let's go into the function menu on the link. So we're going to function and we need to look for channel 5. We can check all these other ones later. But channel 5 needs to be, we're going to put it on auxiliary 1. I don't know if you can rename these. It'd be awesome if you could. Um, so it wants channel 5 to be a three segment switch and it needs to be SA. SA. Alright. So what it is is for return mode, GPS mode, and 3D manual mode. Now we need to go to channel 7. We're going to change that to auxiliary 2. And the channel 7 is set to be a two segment switch, which is SF on the Futaba. It's responding to the shutdown of the motor and start. So they want it to be SF. All right, so channel seven auxiliary two is SF. Now, we need to go to channel eight. We'll make this auxiliary three. Um, channel eight needs to be a three segment switch on the Futabra. It's a SB. I'm gonna have to color code my switches again. I did this a long time ago with a NASA. I had to color code my switches. It needs to be SB. Um, the SB channel is, um, corresponding, it's, uh, corresponding to shutdown and semi-automatic flight in one key circle fly eight, that figure eight, I guess. All right. So that's what that one's for. Now let's go to channel nine. Call that. Auxiliary 4 and channel 9 is a two segment switch on the Futaba radio it's an SC SC and that's corresponding to the one key reverse fly forward and backward I'm not sure what that means in the manual um, so that's all set up so let me get back to what we need to do now is we're back in the linkage menu we have to go to fail safe that's in the manual it tells you to go to channel 5 channel 5 which we already set up is auxiliary 1 you go to the hold 
and you want to put FS are you sure now the on and off I'm not sure of yet and the percentage because I in the manual it says I need to be connected to um, you know need to be connected to unless let me check this real quick it's not letting me check the channels see I need to be in a positive position let me just check if that's off I got it. It's not letting me set it. So I'm assuming I got to be on. It's 100% negative though, not positive. So, but I have to be hooked up to the software to complete this to check it. Because I'm, you can change this. Channel SI. All right. So we will check, go back to the fail safe and double check that. But just for fun, I want to go to servo. All right. I want to check my sticks. It did set up on these switches up here everything will be on this side um, put that in front of the screen again so that's number seven and this would be number five and this is eight so eight five and seven and six is the collective alrighty guys this is Cruz Roy with the Futaba T8 FG Super and the H1 from Flywing uh, like I said I purchased it used and of course it's all in Chinese so any help would be great and any help on the radio would be great I think I set it up properly I just gotta wait for a receiver and everything will be golden alright and then I can set a timer but this is Cruz Roy and I'm out of here